In this video, we're gonna be using JavaScript to add in sorting functionality into our HTML table. So as I click on the columns, we're able to see the data change from ascending to descending and so on. Um, and it doesn't really matter what kind of data type it is, if it's a number, string, or a date. So the method we're gonna be using is actually dealing with sorting our, our data. So whether this is just a JavaScript array or a, a JSON array that we called in from an API endpoint. And I've seen some, um, some basic tutorials on this and a lot of those deal with sorting the HTML table. Well, in a real world application, you're gonna be probably calling some kind of database or an API endpoint and paginating that data. So sorting the table itself won't work. So that's why we're gonna be sorting this array and then building that into the table on each click. So that table will actually be rebuilt each time. So let's get into that. This is part two to a little series I'm creating. So in the last video, we just built out this table using this array of objects. And we just have this one build table function that grabs our table and we run this loop here. And on each iteration of the loop, we build out this row with the table cells and we simply append it to the table. So our table's right here. Um, we just grab it by the ID and append it to the body and we are using jQuery and Bootstrap. Just make sure if you haven't followed along from that video that you're up to date by grabbing the source code or just grabbing the Bootstrap and jQuery CDN. So let's add an event handler to all our table columns. So we'll grab that by the table header and say on click. And let's just make sure that the click function is working before we start doing everything else. So console.log column was clicked. And let's refresh that. And as we click on it, okay, perfect. So it's all working. So we wanna, we wanna grab two things out of each click. So we wanna know which column was clicked and what order are we supposed to put this data into? So if we're currently in ascending, let's set the new order to ascending and then prep it for the next for the next click. So if we're ascending, the next click will change it to descending. So let's go ahead and do that. So um, we're gonna add in custom attributes to these. So this is done by just specifying data and then the name of that custom attribute. So we'll just say column. And uh, we're, we're just gonna name these the same name as uh, the attributes here. So they have to follow the same methods in order for us to be able to sort the table. So I can just duplicate that and change this to age and birthday. So this allows us to grab the attribute that we're gonna sort the array by but now we need to grab the, the order we're supposed to put this into. So let's just say order, and let's set them all to descending. So that's gonna be the initial state of each column, and this is not gonna change, so, or it's gonna stay the same for each column to start. So now when we click, we can access that custom attribute by using this dot data, and then we specify that attribute name. So we wanna grab column, and I wanna put this into a variable. And we can just copy and paste this. And I wanna say order. Okay, so now when we click, I wanna output which column in which order was clicked or what the current order is. And we can test this again. So name, okay, name and descending. Age, descending, birthday, descending. Okay, perfect, that's all working. Now I can write my conditional that's gonna check if we're ascending or descending. So if, and then I'm gonna grab the value of order. So if order is ascending, or yeah, let's say if it's, if it's descending, let's do something and let's have another conditional if it's ascending. So uh, before I write that sorting algorithm, I'm actually gonna try to console this out and show you what's happening here. So let's grab the data attribute. So if order's ascending, um, let's query that So if order is descending, let's query the custom data attribute, the order attribute there. 
dot data. And let's change the value of it. So order, and to change the value, we simply grab the current attribute and let's change it to ascending. So it's not gonna do anything to our table yet. It's just gonna prep it for next time. And if the current order is ascending, we wanna change that to descending. So that's gonna give us that effect that uh, allows us to go up and down with that. So let's now console this out. So descending, ascending. So we're seeing that right there. So each time I click it, it should change. So must have spelled something wrong. Oh, we're supposed to have an equals, I was setting the value, but um, supposed to be a double equals, descending, ascending, descending, ascending. Okay, so you're seeing that change. So now we can actually sort it. So every time we have a different click, the sort will be different. So let's go ahead and write this out. I'll just write it out and do my best to try to explain uh, the algorithm. It's just a JavaScript sort method. So I won't go too far into it, but I'll do my best to cover that. Okay, so that's gonna order it from ascending to descending and down here, I just wanna reverse that. And now I'll try to explain the algorithm itself. So we're using the sort method and the data is being updated. So that's why we're updating the array here. And it, it's, it's grabbing two items. It's grabbing the two items next to each other and it's going down that list. It's actually looping through them and it's checking the column. So the column right now when we click on it is name. So it's checking that value, or it's grabbing that column, it's grabbing the actual value, and it's using this greater symbol, and it's less than right here, but it's using that to actually try to run a comparison and see if the item, if this item is supposed to be before it or after, and it does that for each item down the list. And that's about as far as I can go to explain the details of it. So just try to look that method up. And again, we just have to make sure it's reversed here. And now that we have that sort method, what we actually wanna do is call the build table function again. So our data gets reordered here and we just wanna rebuild out that array. So let's go ahead and give that a test. Okay, so at this point it's sorting it, but it's building on top. So let's go ahead and in our build table function, let's clear out the inner value. So because we're not clearing out the actual table, we're not gonna lose these values. We're just clearing out the body. So let's just say table.inner HTML and let's just set that to empty and see how that works. Okay, perfect. So our sorting now works. So uh, it's clearing out that data and rebuilding it. So the last thing we'll do in this video is just add a little, uh, little styling to it. So we're gonna have an arrow that goes up and down and on for each element. So we're able to know uh, if it's ascending or descending currently. So to add the arrows, we're actually gonna use an HTML, uh, we're gonna actually use HTML syntax for this. So we're gonna start everything at descending. So that's the HTML to do that. Um, we'll add a little space in there and we'll refresh, it's just some hex code. And we'll start it off as ascending and that'll change. So now we need to handle this on click. So let's grab the, we're gonna have to rebuild that uh, that column name each time. There's probably more efficient ways to do this, but that's how I'm gonna run this. So I can just delete this at this point. So let's just call it text. And let's just do, actually to grab the text, it's just gonna be this dot, and then we'll grab the HTML inside that table. So we're clicking on the table column. So it's just grabbing everything in here. And then we can just say text equals to, and then what we wanna do each time is we actually wanna remove this, uh, this arrow so we can add a new one depending on what it's supposed to be. So to do that, we'll just remove the last 
uh, the last item in that, that string. So let's just do substring. And we'll start at the beginning and then we'll just remove the last item. So text dot length minus one. And that should remove that arrow. And then we want to reset it. So let's go down in our conditional. And we want to, if it's descending, because we, because we still have the text value, it's still gonna say name. Let's just do, whoops, I accidentally deleted that. Let's do text and then let's just add on to it. And that's the hex code for the down arrow. And let's go ahead and reverse this again. So let's use the up arrow for the opposite click. And I think I have this right. So I'll just test that out real quick. If anything, I'll flip them. And then finally, I want to grab that inner HTML and reset it again. So this dot HTML and we set the text and that should do it. Okay, perfect. So that does it for our sort video. Um, in the next video, we are gonna add in search functionality into this, and then we'll finally close this out by actually clearing this table and building this data from a real Ajax call, and we're gonna be using the jQuery uh, Ajax effect for that.